Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here, I'll be showing you how to replace the oil on a 5 horsepower Honda engine. This is a GC160 model and part of a generator. These engines can be found in a variety of applications. The oil change procedures should be the same. It's always important to warm the engine up first to improve the flow of the oil. Clean around the plug area so no dirt causes any problems around the seal. If the engine is new, the oil should be changed in the first month or 5 hours of run time. After that, the engine oil is required to be replaced every 6 months or 50 hours of run time. There are two drain plugs, one on each side of the crankcase. Access whichever is easiest for draining. The engine is elevated to help with draining into the pan. Have the pan close by before loosening the drain plug. Using a 13mm wrench, loosen and remove the drain plug. There is a crush washer here, make sure you don't lose it. Crush washers are a one-time use item and should be replaced every time you change the oil. The engine can be tipped back so the drain plug is at a higher point, this way you won't get any oil on your hands. Once removed, drain the oil. On the block, I can tilt the engine over making it easier. Once it's done draining, clean around the oil plug area with a clean cloth. Clean the drain plug mating surface for the washer. Make sure it's clean so no contaminants cause any sealing issues. Install the drain plug with the new washer and tighten. Clean around the fill plug area. With the engine on level ground, fill with clean oil. A funnel is recommended. 10W30 conventional is also recommended for this model and the capacity is 20 ounces or 0.58 liters. The oil should be close to the edge of the fill hole. In order to check the oil level, insert the dipstick, turn it counterclockwise to ensure it's seated at the base of the threads. The oil level should read at about 3 quarters on the dipstick. Some models of this particular engine is equipped with a low oil engine shutoff sensor. If the oil drops to an unsafe level, it'll shut off the engine to prevent any damage. Once done, you can start it, let it run for a moment, and monitor for any leaks. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.